And the latest unemployment numbers have been out today. And data for the United States Department of Labor shows less people are filing for first-time benefits and more industries are seeing some gains. But surviving the ongoing labor shortage, it is still a very big struggle for a whole lot of businesses. So how can they actually survive without enough employees? As Two On Your Side's Liz Lewin reports tonight, it's all about staying flexible. Now I'll be lucky if I can get maybe 10 people to come in the door for interviews. The labor shortage across all industries is still a big problem. Take the hospitality industry, for example. Now we've got to bring people in and train them and spend the time training them and making them be good bartenders because there's just nobody out there who wants to work. Connor Hawkins co-owns the Banshee Irish Pub on Franklin Street. He also manages the Curtis Hotel and the historic Sky Bar, all in downtown Buffalo. He says the struggle to find enough bartenders, cooks, servers, and overall staff is something he worries about daily, despite COVID restrictions easing up. I think people don't want to be in the hospitality industry. The experienced restaurateur has had to pitch in himself, helping in the kitchen and behind the bar. Hopefully we'll get some good people at the Sky Bar and maybe we can cross train them for the Curtis Hotel. At the Banshee, I think we're looking for about another 10 employees. We're definitely looking for quite a few more people in the kitchen and porters and dishwashers. And you know, once we get those positions filled, then we can bring on more servers. And yet, the latest data from the U.S. Department of Labor shows unemployment is going down. Take a look at this chart comparing percentages from March 2019 to March 2022. Just last month, unemployment dropped to 3.6 percent. Here in the Buffalo Niagara region, it fell to 4.3 percent, the lowest for any March since the early 90s. So if more people are getting back to work, why are businesses still closing their doors? We're still between 5 and 10 uh, percentage points below where we were before the Great Recession. Now, part of that is older individuals in the baby boom generation have retired and they're not coming back into the workforce. Professor Fred Floss teaches economics and finance at Buff State and says competition is also a factor. If you can make a dollar an hour more doing something across the street, you're going to do that. And for a lot of the restaurants, for example, that were having a hard time because of COVID, they don't have the money yet to give back to their employees. And Scott, as it relates to that unemployment rate, Professor Floss says it's also important to remember what it actually measures, and that's people who are actively right now looking for work, not those who are not. So just something to keep in mind. In the Information Center, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.